Hey YouTube, Lol Fate here. Today I'm going to show you how to play Twisted Fate, the Cards Master. For Twisted Fate, I run Magic Penetration Marks, 2 Flat Mana Regen Seals, 7 Health per Level Seals, Ability Power per Level Glyphs, and Movement Speed Quintessences. For Masteries, I run a simple 21-0-9, taking 21 in Offense and 9 in Utility. As Twisted Fate, you must take Flash, and a second summoner spell, whether it be ignite, whether it be barrier, or teleport, all depending on your personal preference. As a beginner Twisted Fate player, I would recommend barrier for extra protection. However, if you are more experienced with TF, you should take ignite as TF to be able to kill your lane opponent without your jungler's assistance. Twisted Fate is a very item-dependent champion that relies on maximum gold income to deal huge amounts of magic damage. As Twisted Fate, you want to prioritize your first ultimate in the game to create a big advantage for your teammates as early as possible. Many people don't understand that Twisted Fate does not win his lane, but his teammates' lanes. His job is to simply farm as much as possible during the laning phase. When playing STF, you must always look on the minimap to see if there are any opportunities to use your ultimate to create a play and create an advantage for your team. Here, Gangplank is being power dived by Orianna and Sin. A quickly TP top, which creates a 1v2 situation into a 2v2 situation with a turret in my favor. Now my enemies are completely out of position, and I pick up the easy double kill. During a team fight, you must be patient and deal as much damage as possible while taking the least amount of damage from your opponent's key spells. You do not want to be standing and auto attacking the owner after you have used your wild card and pick the card. The reason being is that you want to be separated from your teammates in order to dodge key lethal AoE spells such as Ezreal's ultimate and Leona's ultimate. Here, you do not want to engage Ezreal because his auto attacks can two shot you. Remember, to always be on the lookout for opportunities on the minimap as well. During the late game, your burst damage is so huge that there is no need to be afraid of the enemy AD carry. During the late game, every AD carry's worst nightmare is... Fate. Um, for my items, I usually start Boots of Speed and 4 Health Pots or Doran's Ring and 2 Health Pots. Never forget your trinket. I try to rush all of these 4 items as soon as possible. Remember, when you can save up 1600 gold, always get the rod because this can finish your Zanyas as well as your Rabadon's Death Cap. Sometimes you'll find that a weird number as Twisted Fate is 730 around there is where you can't really upgrade anything or buy anything. Which in that case, if you started with Dorn's Ring, you just buy boots and a book. Where's the book? Oh, I'll find the book. Would you buy this thing? Usually, depending on the game situation, I usually love to rush Rabadons just for the pushing power. But sometimes I rush Lich Bane as well when I'm really fed early on so that I can deal as much damage as possible to my opponents. Sometimes I rush Zanyas for the armor as well as a defensive stat or as well as a defensive stasis against your opponent when they have like five assassins on their enemy teams. I usually rush this or I don't rush it but I usually get this item as my fifth or sixth item. The reason being is that you get enough penetration from your boots, so you really won't need this until the very late game. I buy this after my Zanyas, which is my fifth item, including boots. It's a very good protection item when everyone else 
deals 1k damage and you deal 2k. So this, Twin Shadows. Now I've been experimenting with this item and you it's a pretty big risk. You have to trust in your team in order to get this item. But I would totally get it because if you're playing ranked 5 versus 5s, you would most likely trust in your team and you would gank bot lane more often than top and you have to get double kills there in order to make use of this item. Overall, it's not a bad item. I just don't rush it in solo queue just because it's not worth it. But in ranked 5v5s, that's a different situation. I would totally rush it. Yep, and that's my item build for Twisted Fate. Well, thank you for watching my Twisted Fate guide. And I hope I have provided you information on how to play Twisted Fate mechanically and how his role works in the game instead of explaining his skill set. Thank you. Subscribe, comment, rate, do whatever. Later.